Hi everyone. Here is your data update for Phase 1B1C Transition Week 1. This includes some sobering statistics on seniors. Chicago hit a milestone last week, distributing its millionth dose of COVID-19 vaccine and administering over 800,000 vaccines to Chicago residents. As of March 17th, one in three Chicagoans 65 plus, almost one in two, and one in four Chicagoans 18 plus have received at least one dose of vaccine. Our seven-day rolling average of doses administered seems to be getting back on track, with first doses increasing steadily and second doses stabilizing. For data reported through March 16th, the impact of the United Center opening can be shown here in green compared to the previous week, while hospitals and pharmacies, in dark blue and pink, continue to lead the way in terms of total doses administered. FQHCs and outpatient offices, in light blue and yellow, seem to be improving capacity slowly every week. But are these doses going into the right arms? Hospitals and outpatient clinics seem to be more successful, or intentional, about vaccinating patients 65 plus compared to all ages combined. So is this because seniors feel safer in settings with doctors they know? Or are we not supporting them to make registration easier, and asking if they need help getting to appointments at other convenient locations. We worry that we are starting to see senior vaccination plateau while the rate of vaccination of other age groups remains strong. So CDPH wants to hear from you on your order form this week about why Chicago has fallen so far behind the rest of the country in vaccinating seniors. What is working and what isn't? We can't be satisfied with vaccine coverage for our seniors that is nearly 20 percentage points behind the rest of the country. Send us your ideas and best practices so we can turn this around as a city and prevent deaths. I will say that we are seeing some early signals that disease incidence is creeping up. So we don't have much time left to protect our patients. While we are largely achieving our equity goals for race and ethnicity, with 53% of first doses going to Black and Latinx Chicagoans last week, the south side of the city seems to be falling behind in the percent of Chicagoans 65 plus who have received at least one dose of vaccine. What's more, for data reported through March 17th, one third of the nearly million doses given in Chicago so far have gone to non-Chicagoans while only 21% of Chicagoans are getting vaccinated outside the city. Chicago doses must be given to Chicago residents unless they show proof of employment in essential industries in Chicago. So we've heard some disturbing stories this week about providers giving up on trying to get vaccine to our most vulnerable Chicagoans and using precious vaccine resources inappropriately. Remember that equity is our strategy doses will no longer be allocated to practices that are found to mishandle or misuse Chicago vaccine stock. Site visits will begin for select provider sites in the next few weeks. Practices that are not reporting doses administered into eye care and inventory into vaccine finder will not be allocated doses moving forward. Treat every dose like it's precious and if put in the right arm, will prevent Chicago hotspots from growing and protect our seniors. Thanks for listening and see you next week.